Yo, what's up, guys? Today, we are going over Redux hooks. Yeah, so pretty much what hooks are, you know, as the name, is they hook into something. And that something for us is our Redux store. And so the two hooks I'm going to be talking about and that we're going to be using is use selector and use dispatch. There are others, but the main hooks are those two. So these are the two that you'll probably be, the only ones you'll probably be using. So I'm just going to import that. They're coming from React Redux. And the benefit of this is we don't have to use connect. So we can get rid of connect. And we don't have to use map dispatch to props and map state to props. So basically we can delete this whole thing. And that is what we're going to talk about first is use selector and use selector pretty much replaces our map state to props selector and reselect. And I'm going to import it. And I'm going to import use dispatch. So what this is going to look like, um, First off, what use selector is, so, so use selector is a hook and it takes two arguments. The first argument is required, which is a selector function. And the second argument for our use selector is an optional one, is a equality function. And I will talk about that uh, near the end of this video, but I'm going to go ahead and create our selectors. And so I'm going to create a selector. So what it does, the pattern of it is it picks one piece of state, just like our selector. So I'm going to tell it's loading. So our use selector, it takes the first argument is our selector. So we do state up for this one. I am taking loading. So that was in our diamond dot loading. So I'm going to create our two more. I'm going to create diamond and our names. So I'm going to change this to, so I remember the name of it. It was diamonds. Now this one was, I believe it was called names. Let's just double check. Names, yeah, empty array. So now once we do that, we can just remove it from our, um, we're already structuring it up here. We just remove all of them. We don't need this anymore. So by doing that, I don't want to use errors. Just to speed this up, we're not going to use errors. So right now we can get rid of our map state to props. We do not need this anymore in our maps dispatch to props. But I will show though uh, for our use selectors. So that's that's pretty much all to it right now is we're just grabbing that value. And what's great about use selector is for example, our map state to props, right? We can only return an object and you saw that down here we are returning our keys and values of our our state we're just picking we had all our state in that um, object so when our component gets re-rendered it will return that object so even if it was that's why we had our selectors and reselect our reselector because it would have to um it would memoize those because down here, our, our component gets re-rendered, and it re-renders the whole object, regardless of one, if one of those states didn't need to re-render, right? It will still render that object. But with the use selector, since we are just grabbing uh, that value, it just looks it just looks at that value. So a strict equality check. So it will check 
from the, pr the previous result and the result now, right? That from the before something got dispatched, an action got dispatched, you know, causing a, uh, a re-render. So for example, say we clicked our diamond button, uh, that will dispatch our action creator. Use selector looks at the previous results, say for our names, right? We know names didn't change. Use selector will know the previous result and the current result are still the same. So it'd be like this previous with our current return true. Therefore, it wouldn't re-render our, our names. So I hope you guys, I hope that made sense. Now, since we've done that, first I'm going to go and change here because now we need to change this. Right now we have our names. That's what it's called names, but now we need to map it. So we go here, map name. Actually, it's not going to sound right, but name dot name. So that's where we're grabbing. We're grabbing. Now we have an array of names right here. Since we've done that, now I'm going to talk about use dispatch. So what that hook is is just returning a reference to the dispatch function from our Redux store. All we have to do is assign our hook to a variable. When we do that, we can call it dispatch. Just like, just like this. So since we've done this, all we have to do is wrap our dispatch around one of, um, since we have action creators, all we have to do is wrap our dispatch around our action creators. So here in our use effect, this, this get, get data is um, the one that's fetching for our names. So instead of pass, passing that down to map dispatch the props, we all we have to do is do this. We want to delete these console logs. Doing this, we should have our component running again. Should be. All right, yeah, it's just hella distorted now. It seems like every time I look at this again, it gets worse. But ignoring that, it looked better. I look perfect. Obviously, I'm just joking just by resizing it, but if we click the mine, see everything's here, it's incrementing. So right now we just refactor our code using Redux hooks. So just to show you guys how it looks, we can actually use the second argument, which takes uh, two arguments, which will be our previous result and our current result. So previous. Current. So right here, we can do if if previous equals current. True. Else, we're going to console log. So by doing that, I can show you guys in the console log that if um, if the results, the values haven't changed at all, it will return true. So you can see here, right, that our our action was dispatched from an empty array. Now our array is filled with um, our um, objects. So you can see how I went from true to false because now they're not equal, right? But if we go ahead and click the button, which dispatches an action to increment our number, you can see it's true now because you selector knows that our names hasn't changed at all. So it now returns true. So we are preventing it from re-rendering because we are awesome. 
Yeah, guys, so I hope this you learned something from uh, this tutorial series or new skills using Redux. So, you know, just tell me, you know, any questions you want to ask me about this or anything you want to see. I'm definitely going to be doing more coding tutorials after this. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, that quick Redux series. I might extend it to an advanced series because I know we didn't, I didn't talk about a few things, including Saga. But, you know, I'll try to get to that. So, yeah, so that's it, guys. Later.